welcome back. I am so, so sorry for that last video. Um, yeah. Couldn't help myself, but there you go. I got Billy back by popular demand. Yes. He is well liked, Billy is. Well, you found him one sock, Billy. Well, didn't find any more then. Just fell asleep. Lazy devil. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, I've got such a headache. I've bought it on myself, I know. But there you go. Here we are. Sleepy boy. Sleepy boy. And he's going to go into... He's worn this loads of times. You've seen it, but I like him in it. So he's going back in it. This little... Um... Noppies, I think it's called. Suit with a side snap. And he's got some little Winnie the Pooh shoes. Little padders. Not that they'll be padding anywhere anytime soon, but there you go. And I've got to sit down. Oh. There, I've got a nice cup of hot chocolate. So... If you're here, if you stay with me, maybe put me on pause and go and get yourself a drink. Might be a short video. I do not know. I never know until I start waffling what's going to come out. So, come on, pop it. Yeah, you can have Teddy back in a minute. Yeah, there's a go. There you go. <sighs> have you all been well? I do hope so. I do hope so. I'm okay. As I said, I apologise for the last video, but I am all right. I really am. Peter's fishing. Um, yeah. Oh. Lots of poppers, haven't they? It's a beautiful day out there. Chilly, but really sunny and nice. Um... A lot to tell you really oh i saw <laughs> gal did a video the other day oh gal no sorry gal it wasn't you holly <clears throat> from holly's doll's house did a video the other day what is the grossest thing you've had to do poor holly had to do a stool sample and she was beside herself <laughs> Having to do this stool sample. Yeah, well, I've done a few of those, Holly, and you did it wrong. <laughs> There's an easier way to do it. There is. Really simple way, which I won't tell you. <laughs> Keep your guessing. <laughs> yeah, in the UK, we have to do them every so often. When you get to a certain age, Pete refuses. He doesn't want to know if he's got anything wrong with him. He do, does not want to know. Um, but I've done a few. Well, at least two. <laughs> Maybe more. Um, I skipped this year's. I just didn't, didn't want to do it. So I didn't do it. Uh, but that's not the grossest thing I've had to do. No, not the grossest thing. Suzanne today, Suzanne from Suzanne's Babies was saying about her grossest thing she had to do was cleaning up her one of her doggies after it had explosive diarrhoea. Not the grossest thing I've had to do. Mm. <laughs> I've had animals, obviously. I've had babies. They don't they don't freak me out. I can do anything with them. Oh, well, I don't know. I've had some gross things in my life. <sighs> Being a night nurse, you see some gross things. And everybody, I don't know what it is about being a night... Uh, being a nurse in general, I think. But everybody thinks you want to know about their bowel habits. You don't. No, you don't. Not unless they ask you. Everybody thinks you want to talk about bowels. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Right. I don't know how I'm do what I'm doing for this. Oh, there's one there. Yeah. No. Um. Nothing sort of phases me. That I have, but I have got a bit more queasy since I've stopped working at the hospital. I must admit, I have got a bit more queasy. Before then, any amount of blood and poo and everything else wouldn't worry me in the least. Sick? Yeah, sick. I can't stand sick. I really can't. And if somebody's being ill, I want to be ill with them. I really don't like that at all. Um, well, he's got pink bottoms on there. Oh, they'd be all right. You're not going to look at the bottoms, are you? And I'm sure you don't mind a bit of pink. Um... Yeah, I worked with a girl one night, um, an agency nurse, she came and, well, she was a bank nurse, which is the same, you know. Uh, if you work in a hospital, they have their own bank nurses, or they did do, I assume they still do, where people just work when and where they're needed. Um, so I worked with her one night. Hilarious. This woman was absolutely hilarious. And we had one of our patients had dementia. And not all people with dementia do this. But if she pooed, she played in it. And it would go in her ears, in her upper nose, down to her feet, everywhere. Anyway, she'd had diarrhea as well. So... Sorry, if you'd eaten breakfast, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. It's that Holly's making me tell you this. <laughs> yeah, and it was it was head to toe in a bed. Poo. Now, it was one of those things where you think, oh my goodness, you get your bowl of water ready for all your cleaning. All your linen ready and everything else that you can possibly think of that you're gonna you, you might need because you're not gonna need that bed once you start because it's all gonna happen again. So you get everything ready, and uh, this nurse I work, work, <laughs> worked with, she went, "Oh my god, no, I can't! What? What? I can't do it! I can't do it!" And I said, "God, for goodness' sake!" I said, "You must be up for a challenge." I said, "This is one hell of a challenge." And I said, right, I said, you do the rolling, I'll do the washing. So you have to roll the person and, you know, hold and rock. I said, I'll do, you do all the rolling with swap, swap sides. I said, I'll do all the cleaning. But if someone's sick, you do it. And she went, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So that's what we had to do. But, you know, that doesn't faze me because it was my job for a start. And you couldn't leave somebody like it. So no, I don't, I don't know whether that is the grossest thing I've had to do. I really don't. I can't think of anything. Um, are they all right or do you want these ones on? These are grey. He's got a little baby bear, little bear buttons on. To try you with those. Oh no, I've only got one. That's no good, is it? Got these ones with a bear on. No, stick with what you've got then. Yeah, so I don't really know, Holly. Um, animals, I've had to clear up sick and poo and everything else if they've not been well, because Peter will not do it. And they were immaculate, or immaculate, blah, I can't say that word. They became, come mine, you know, mine. They're yours, he says, you do it. And they are mine, being fairness, um... All animals are mine. <laughs> but, yeah, I've not had anything. Uh, well, I know. I mean, it doesn't face you. If, if you work, I mean, you. I've laid out more dead bodies than I care to remember. I mean, loads. And you do it. And you do it with, well, not really a smile on your face, but you have to. So that's it. 
Um, so I can't think of anything gross. They're all gross, but not the grossest one. And there he is, there's my belly, and I've got my hot chocolate. Oh, there we go. Now hold your teddy. Yeah. Mm, that's nice. That is nice. Be even nicer if it was a full fat version, I'm sure. But weight, I haven't lost any more weight. I haven't lost anything. I think I've stayed exactly the same for two weeks running. Oh, that's okay. Um, I've got my pre-assessment. I've got a funeral on Wednesday, my uncle, I told you about. I've got, um, well, I told you last week, I think, I had a funeral to go to. Thursday, I got my pre-assessment. Now, I did get my paperwork through. In the end, I got paperwork through um, about my operation and everything else. It says you're in there for three nights, which I knew, and... And then they like you to vacate the room in the morning of your, well, on the Sunday it is when I come out. Which is different from what the doctor told me, because he told me you wouldn't come out till the Sunday. So whether they vacate you and put you somewhere else, I do not know. Um, I've ordered, they're coming Wednesday, I've ordered some leisure wear. Now... I looked on Marks and Spencers and I thought, well, they do. I've never worn leisure wear in my life. But they have these very wide legged. Sounds awful, doesn't it? But they're velour and they look they look really nice. Black I've ordered. They did do in a in a um what did they do it in? Like a burgundy, but as I'm gonna be coming out of hospital in them. I wanted them black and a couple of really um, nice tops for leisure wear, not for wearing out, but I thought I'm going to be wearing them for a while, so I think. Um, so yeah, that's coming Wednesday. And then if they all fit, I'm set, that's it, I'm all ready to go. Um, Popped my paperwork back up there yesterday because Peter had my car for a couple of days last week. Only because where he was fishing, he didn't want to leave his car on the main road. So he left mine on the main road. Yeah. But, oh, that's all right. He's got stuff in his car. He didn't want nicked, just in case. And my car is basically empty. Um, they're not going to pinch anything if they break into my car. I've got a baby seat in the boot and some shopping bags and that's it. Uh, yeah, he had my car. So they, they sent me this letter because I, I or we leave our post 24 hours before opening because of COVID. And um, I opened it and he'd gone fishing and it said we want it back by return post. Now, as, as my leg is like it is, I can't walk to the post box. It's all up here and I can't do it now. So I had to, I said to Pete, he had it for two days, my car. And I said, oh, well, time the post. If I post it at the weekend, it's not going to, post box isn't going to be empty till Monday morning. And he had to take his car out to get some fuel. I said, oh, I'll come and, you know, go via the spire, which is 10 minutes from our house anyway, and I'll put it through the door. Well, as it was, I mean, it's open, so I just went and gave it to a receptionist, so that's okay, so that's all back. Otherwise, the post wouldn't have been picked up today. They probably wouldn't have got it till Wednesday, and I've got my pre-assessment Thursday, so. And that's that. Yep, Sadie's staring at me over there. And Evie, what are you doing, girls? They're just staring me out. Don't you look at your dad like that. He'd be real freaked. 
so I'm not doing much today I'm going to do some bit crocheting I started doing some crocheting just to keep you busy really just something for my fingers to do instead of diving into food or pondering over things um, yeah and that's all I've washed my new tea set up that's all looking nice um, nothing else to tell you yeah nothing else to say and there's little Billy oh Terry asked about Timmy Timmy's still here He's over here in his little basket. Come here, Timmy. Oh, 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 what have you got in there? Probably everything I can't find. There we go. Come out your basket. Uh, oh. He hasn't been changed. He's there. There's little Timmy. Keep your hands away from his face because silicone and oh, do you see my boobies? Silicone and reborns don't go together, do they? So, and there he is. Hope you can see him. I'll do, I'll do a change in one with him someday, but not not today. I'm not feeling <clears throat> not feeling it today. And um, little Bobby, well, I don't know what to do with Bobby. Bobby has been so neglected. Oh, oh, goodness me. You've got something else as well. Bobby has been so, so neglected. Yes. Turn that way. Say hello. So, so neglected, this one. Um, I think he might be one of those ones I'm, I'm not going to be taking to very well. I'll have to spend some time. He's really heavy. I'm going to have to spend some time with him. Aren't I? Hmm? And see if he grows on me because oh, oh what you know, sorry. <sighs> at the moment, he's not grown on me at all. As you know, it was a he was a girl when he arrived, and uh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, I haven't got a pillow to put under your head. Oh, there we are. Where's one? And say hello. Don't know if you can see him there. Oh. Yeah. I'll probably have to spend some time with him. Maybe I'll sit and give him a cuddle or something while I'm watching some television or whatever. But there we are. I'm going to go and... Um, I probably won't be back this week. Maybe Friday. Maybe. We'll see. I could have come on last Friday, but I just wasn't feeling it. I, I really wasn't. And um, as you saw this morning, oh, yeah. Things were a bit raw, but never mind. I'm, I'm okay. I am okay. I've started taking. Have you heard of C CBD? Just to try and try and lift my mood a bit. It's helped me sleep. I am sleeping better because I wasn't sleeping. Um, oh, it's my phone. That'd be nice if it's a nice message, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so I don't know whether I'll continue using it because it's expensive. It really is. If you don't know what it is, go and look it up. CBD. It's made from the hemp plant. The same as cannabis, but it's been taken, everything, I mean, it's not a hallucinogen because everything's been taken out of it. So, but there you go. Right, I'll see you soon. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.